friends uh, uh, over a period of time I think uh, from the time when NTA and HRD announced uh, the CUET examination there is a, a different kind of awakening which, which I can see in the student community. Lot of parents came and spoke to me, lot of students had lot of enthusiasm as to say what is it all about. Uh, they were not aware of it and moreover there is with this announcement there was a general understanding among uh, different age, uh, age group of students that they, they wanted to understand sir what are the kinds of competitive examination. So I just want to take some time here to explain it to you uh, as to what is the whole idea of competitive examination because this is not any new idea. The competitive examination are already in place for different courses. If in case anybody wants to get into let us say premier institutions like uh, IITs, the only way to get into IITs is through JE examination. JE means if anybody qualifies he will be able to appear for the JE advance examination. Those who select who get selected in JE advance will get a chance for admission into this India's premier institutions like IITs. However, those who did really well in JE mains and wants to take admission, they have the option of getting admission into NITs and there are various institutions. Likewise, for the first time in 2010, the concept of uh, CUET, Common University Entrance Test was announced. That was again in 2022, NTA took over the whole process of exam and it was made very clear that all the central universities are mandated to take the admission only based on the competitive examination marks. Henceforth, the weightage of 12th standard examination that is 12th board examination no matter whether you are at, uh, attempting the CBSE board examination or any state, state board examination the weightage based on which you get the admission into the central universities for any course for that matter let that be BCA, let that be for B, uh, BSc, BEA, BCom no, pro, no, no matter which course you are opting the admission will happen based on the entrance marks alone. Your entrance marks only will decide whether you will get the admission into those premier central universities. Earlier your 12th board marks have the had the weightage. Similarly, this step was earlier taken as I mentioned about JE examination. In JE also if anybody wants to get into JE um, IATs, their board examination, 12th board examination marks will not be counted. It is just 12th board examination is just a mere qualifying examination. This is a primary problem which I see among all our parents because our parents are not aware. Eventually when I see the students, the students are also not aware. This is, our, this is a very open secret because students come to me and because, we, uh, because of my experience of running the institutions, many come to me and ask me about, sir, uh, I want to get into medical, but they do not know how to get into medical and they join any regular PU board college. And th there is no fault of child primarily because the parent were not aware and the child just joined that institution because somebody was telling that that institution is a very old institution has very good reputation and uh, has very good garden playground all that very good campus I should say. So his friends also joined so he will also join but he is medical aspirant he joins the institution or she joins the institution after two years when the child does do her the child does everything whatever is possible and ask for the child will go to the institution at 8 o'clock morning, will finish the, school, uh, P, uh, the PU college at 3.30, come back home. That institution will be a really just a PU board college. So in case if the child has any doubt in that PU board topic also, the, there is no other option. The child goes to a tuition center in the evening, 5 to 8, that, child, uh, that is normal system when I, what I see across Bangalore and other metro cities, they go to a tuition center. After going for a tuition center 5 to 8, even if the child gets 100 out of 100 in all subjects, physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, it is of no use. Because for that medical selection, the weightage of your 12th board marks is 0. 
the understanding of importance of competitive examination has to come in for every parent because we have to give that awareness we have to create that awareness and we have to inform the ch child when it takes a decision after 10th the child should take an, an informed decision because that is going to decide after that what is going to be the career path of the child because when when i see these children go to a regular pu board college they go to college they go to tuition center get, get very good marks in the 12th board after getting the very good result then they realize that they cannot become doctor even though they have 98% and 99% in 12th board then they break their head they say they feel that they are they have been deceived no there is no deception here because this is an open secret the the information is in open uh, is available if anybody wants to become doctor the only way somebody can get selected for medical examination medical college is based on their medical entrance examination that is a national level examination there is only one examination if anybody tells the uh, because i get to hear this that uh, one uh, agent is calling us there he has some way there is no other way there is only one way if anybody wants to get into medical it is through neat only what is the neat examination it is a competitive examination the syllabus of this examination is based on the ncert syllabus only but please don't mistaken don't think the other way that many child many children say that sir I, uh, even in our college when where the pu board coaching is going on that is also ncert syllabus so whether we will be if i do very good in the 12th board uh, and get 100 out of 100 why not i uh, based on the same syllabus uh, the neat examination is there i will also do well in the neat also if that would be the case in 2009 18 19 i think you must have heard tamil nadu state topper committed suicide she was the state first rank holder in 12th board when the neat result came she was shocked she was dejected because she did not do well and she committed suicide because it was uh, it was she was not aware that the pattern for the need is completely different from that of the the way the children prepare for the board examination i'll just give you an example if anybody appears for any board examination let's say karnataka state board examination the last part is about in the physics the last part is about problem oriented question three questions will be there for each question each question carries three mark, five marks and uh, they have lot of options to to, to actually select from um, and they will get ample amount of time almost 45 minutes they can spend to do these three questions however in neat there are 45 question the child has to attend attempt and all 45 questions are going to be much difficult than these three questions however you will get only one minute to do each question so the expectation of your preparation the speed that that the that, that the practice it is completely different so we can't equate the preparation for the board examination that uh, to that of the preparation which is required for competitive examination these two are two different ball game altogether you can't practice cricket on a football pitch you have to practice in the same uh, uh, same environment and moreover for common uh, university in, uh, entrance test also cuet all central universities as if now will take admission only based on this competitive examination zero weightage is attached to your board examination marks henceforth so why this all the struggle for getting very good marks in pu board then or any 12th board marks it is that understanding everybody should get now because if you want to get into uh, architecture you have a competitive examination called nata if you want to get into uh, let's say law you have a I, uh, examination th there is separate examination for that clat if you want to get into engineering there is a separate every professional course already had a competitive examination now even in non professional courses also have a competitive competitive examination so what my message is that when you after 10th especially because the results are going to come it is hardly few days that the children will have the results and then let's start taking with their result they'll start running and hunting for the institution my humble request is before going to any institution first make your plan what is that you want to do if you want to get into iit you should know how you get into iit 
if you want to get into medical, you should know exactly how, how you can get into a medical college in, in an open merit examination that is through NEET. And when you select an institution, that is the most important decision. Please make an informed decision. Understand how many students took admission there, what is the success rate of that particular institution. All that is very, very crucial and critical. And with that, uh, this importance of competitive examination, how the children can prepare for the competition, what are the challenges with the children face for this competitive examination. These are, there are very many open questions which I get. Uh, inshallah, I will deal with these questions in the uh, series, uh, different uh, sessions, uh, whenever I speak, uh, come again in, the, uh, in front of the camera, inshallah. Thank you.